Looks like we lost those rustlers. They must have taken to the river. Yeah, the question is, which way did they go? Well, Holt, you and the boys circle around, and I'll take the river trail. If you hear any shooting, come a-running. And if we don't pick up their tracks, we'll report back to the office. All right, get going. That old buzzard's sure to pick up our trail. We ought to be able to settle this law business once and for all. We'll get out of sight and be ready. He's alone. They must have split. I'll fire first, and if I miss, let him have it. I tell you, I heard a shot. Oh, you're loco. Anyway, if it had been the sheriff, you'd have heard a lot of shooting. Uh, well, I hope you're right. He's done for. Come on, let's get out of here. Rustlers got me. Rustlers, eh? Yeah. Well, I heard a shot. Where'd they get you? Shoulder. Yes, it's only a flesh wound, but it sure is painful. Well, let's take a look at it, Sheriff. Ain't no use looking any further. Let's trick it back to town. The sheriff said to search until sundown, and that's just what we're going to do. All right, but I'm telling you, it's useless. Just the same, we're riding until sundown. Well, I reckon we're safe now. Let's go on over to the meadow and start branding some of those calves. You're a stranger here, aren't you? Yeah, just drifting through. There isn't much more I can do, Sheriff. Better get you into a town and let the doc take care of this. You're not doing so bad yourself. Well, it's nothing serious, Sheriff. If poisoning doesn't set in, thanks to this young fellow, you didn't lose much blood. If he hadn't happened along, you probably would never have reached town. Well, I'm certainly grateful, Gray. That's all right, Sheriff. I'm glad I was able to help you. Well, I have to be drifting. Well, goodbye, son. Drop in and see me when you're in town. I sure will. I hope you get well right soon. So long, Doc. So long. You fellas are sure on a wild goose chase. We're going to follow these tracks till dark. Sure, we'll follow them. But what good's it going to do us? Well, that remains to be seen.
job. Can you use another hand? A uh, stranger here, huh? Yeah. Well, how are you with a rope? Oh, good enough, I guess. All right. I can use it. We're gonna cut some calves out of that herd. In the meantime, you can keep that iron hunt. He's quite a tent, aren't you? Well, I'm not starting anything I can't finish. He's just a drifter. I'll use him and send him on his way. Hey, look. I reckon them tracks did lead to something. They ain't seen it yet. Let's rush. What'd you do that for? Rustler! Come on. Hey! Caught you red-handed, eh? What's your name? My name is Gray. What do you mean, caught me red-handed? Don't try to pull that line, Rustler. Just because you was left in the shuffle, don't think you can get out of this. Well, I just drifted in here. I asked for a job, and they put me to work. Yeah? We heard that palaver before. Let's take him in to sure. Yeah, and the boys in town will lynch him. I've got a better idea. We'll brand him with his own iron. And then if he's ever seen in this county again, it'll be his finish. You can't take the law in your own hand, men. I'm running this outfit when the sheriff ain't here. Yeah, but you're not carrying out his orders. Yes, but I know how to handle rustlers. And this time, I'm going to do just as I please. Oh, we won't have any hand in it. Well, then go on back to town. I'll handle this alone. Come on, Andy. If you're ever caught in this county again, they'll plug you on site. Now get going. That's strange. Didn't you get his name? Yes, that his name was Gary Gray. Gray? Why, that's the young fellow that brought me in after the rustlers left me for dead. Holt, you take too many things into your own hands. You're too hot-headed. You branded a man that saved my life. I warned you before that I'm running this office. You refuse to obey my orders? Now you're through. 
This won't be easy to forget, Sheriff. I don't want you to forget it. It may teach you to use your head. Now get out. What I can't understand, Sheriff, is the reason for him shooting as soon as we spotted them rustlers. We wasn't anywhere near gun range. It couldn't have been an accident. Him being the best six-gun man in the country. There was a reason for that. Maybe there was a reason. I wonder. We're down to our last penny, Vernon. If Ruth doesn't find work today, I don't know what's going to become of us. In that case, Mother, I'll look for work. There must be something I can do. What luck, Ruth? Same old story. No work. have some money in a day or so. Please don't worry, Mother. We'll find a way out. Is the owner of the ranch in? What is it you want? It's kind of personal, ma'am. Won't you come in? Dad, there's a man here to see you. Well, uh, what do you want? My horse and my gun. And a chance to get even for the dirty trick you played me. Who, me? Yes, you. Those men you said were rustlers were star packers. And when you and your gang rode off, it left me to face the charge of rustling. Why, well, you've got me mixed up with somebody else, fella. I picked up that horse on the way from town. But if he's yours, you can sure have him. Come on. Rustlin again. The law is sure to get him. And even if he is only your stepdad, the disgrace will follow you wherever you go. Please don't worry about it, Mother. This is your horse, huh? You know it is, Umbre. And that isn't all. One of those deputies put a brand on me that you ought to be carrying. I ought to beat you to a pulp, Matlock. Well, so you know my name, huh? Your name's on the mailbox. I suppose the first move you'll make will be to turn me over to law. That all depends. Say, I'm sorry about that burn, partner. But I've got some salve that'll fix it right up. Come on. Have you got a knife? Cut this.
Matlock, I'm not telling the law for your family's sake. Kind of work you over, eh? It's all your fault. What did you brand him for? You knew he wasn't one of the gang. That's just why I done it. To get him out of town so he wouldn't squawk on you fellas. And also to make it look like some other gang's been doing the rustling. But I'm the one that paid for it. What do you mean? I got fired for Brandon Gray because he was the one that brought the sheriff in after you winged him. Now listen, I need some dough. I won't have any until after we deliver the herd. Hmm? And I'll have to stay here until we make that drive. But you might just as well get used to it because you're going to see a lot of me after Vernon and I get hitched. Listen, Ben. That's one thing that's Never going to happen. She's too good for a cowardy like you. So make up your mind. You're not going to marry her. Just who's going to stop me? Hiya. I thought when I married him, he'd give us a decent living among decent people. But now... He's lost everything. And a rustler. What's that? I thought I heard a shot. There wasn't any shot, Mother. You're just upset. I'm through. I'm going to have it out with him. You stay here. Hello, Mrs. Medlock. Hi, Werner. I just dropped in to see if we couldn't go for a little ride. Not today, Ben. What's wrong? What happened? Oh, nothing. Who was that man that just rode away from here? Well, some stranger lost his horse and... Dad found it. Where is your dad? I want to see him. He's in the barn. I'll go with you. He's dead. Stabbed in the back. It must have been that stranger. I'll get him. He just left here. Get 
Get him up, Rustler. I'll make you eat those words someday, Starpacker. Yeah? Well, someday I'll give you the chance. Meantime, the sheriff wants to see you. You are wanted for the murder of Matlock. Murder? When Mrs. Matlock and I got there, we found Ruth dead, with that knife sticking in him. This is your knife, Gray. I recognize it as the one you used when you cut my bandages. That's right, Sheriff. It is my knife. I lost it in a scuffle with Matlock. At least he ain't denying he had a fight with him. Oh, you round up my boys and send them in here, will you? I'll have them bring Matlock in. Right, Sheriff. Now then, Gray, tell me just what happened. Be glad to, Sheriff. After I left you, I started for Range City, figuring I might line myself up a job. As I was riding along, I ran across these men branding some calves. I asked them if they could use another hand. They put me to work and... Hey, listen. Tell the boys that Roof got killed. And there's gonna be a bigger split for all of us. Nedlock killed? Yes, and you fellas only wounded the sheriff. However, the old buzzer's gonna be laid up for a while. So get ready to start the drive in the morning. Hey, who killed Matt Lock? Beat it. The sheriff wants to see you too. Then your deputy met up with me and accused me of murder. He's not my deputy, Gray. I fired him when I heard how he treated you. I wish I'd have known that, Sheriff. Boys, Matlock's been killed. I want you to go out to his ranch, follow every track leading to and from the killing. Check over that barn door that's tied with a rope. Well, you better take Doc along with you and have him examine the body thoroughly and then report to me. All right, Sheriff. Well, I'll have to hold you, son, until we can prove you're innocent. I understand, Sheriff. And I'm only too glad to help prove it. In the meantime, we'll fix up that brand. I caught the killer as he was beaten to the border. He's in jail now. He didn't look like a killer. You can't always tell. Take Billy the Kid, for instance. Now, I'd be glad to stay here, Mrs. Matlock, until this is all over. I don't like the idea of you and Werner being here alone. That's mighty thoughtful of you, Ben. But this is one time we'd rather be alone. I know I shouldn't talk about it now, Werner, but you and your mother haven't got any means of support. So why don't you marry me and let me take you out of all this? I've told you so many times that I don't love you, Ben. Please, let's not talk about it anymore. All right, just as you say. But remember, I'm always ready to do all I can, any time. I'll drop over later. Goodbye. Ben just asked me to marry him again. I'm so afraid of him. Mother, I hate him. I understand, dear. And I'm going to get you out of all this right soon. It was only a flesh wound and could not in any way have caused Matlock's death. Matlock was killed by a 44 bullet. Gray's gun is a 38. Matlock's gun is also a 38. Here's the bullet that killed Matlock. That's a 44, all right. Any other clues? We found a peculiar track of a boot with a plate on the left heel. It was all around Matlock and led to and from the scene of the killing. We back trailed the boot to a secluded spot near the barn where the wearer mounted a horse. We followed the horse tracks around to the front of the ranch house. We questioned Mrs. Matlock and her daughter and his death left them penniless. She wants you to try to sell the place. Says any reasonable price will be accepted. Well, you'd better ride out and tell Mrs. Matlock and her daughter to come in here right away. 
They shouldn't sell that place just yet. All right, Sheriff. Well, we've seen you later, Sheriff. All right, Doc. Let's see the sole of your left boot, Gary. I'm convinced that you're innocent, Gary. But being the last one seen with Matlock, and the evidence of your knife makes it that you stand... I'll have to take you over to the county seat in a few days. I'm sure you'll be acquitted. In the meantime, I'll rustle you some grub. Thanks. I am kind of hungry. Hey, we can't start that drive tomorrow. We're having any dough. Don't worry about that. I'll see that you get some in a day or two. Sorry I had to do this, Sheriff, but I have a clue as to who killed Matlock. I'm going to run it down. Right or wrong, I'll be back. I've left a few bucks for Mrs. Matlock. They need never know but what you found it on roof. Gray. A hundred dollars. You get the boys together and I'll meet you tonight at the shack. Ben. Howdy, Mr. Brand. How's for a job? What happened? Oh, I had a little run in with the sheriff, so I ain't riding for him anymore. I thought maybe you'd be needing a driver. No, not right now. But I'm sending the Blue Moon payroll out tomorrow. You can go along as a guard. Say, that'll be swell. What time's the stage leaving? Be here at 10 in the morning. Thank you, Mr. Brand. I'll sure be here. 
I'm mighty sorry about your husband being killed. And I want you to know that I'll be doing everything in my power to run down the man who did it. Well, I thought you got him. No. The young man you suspect didn't do it. Your husband was killed by a bullet from a 44 caliber gun. I told you I heard a shot, Bernard. You did hear a shot? Yes. But the knife. It only made a flesh wound and was just used to throw suspicion on young Gray. We have several clues and may have some news for you right soon. How about the ranch? I don't believe I'd sell it if I were you. Properly handled, it can be made to bring you a nice, comfortable living. We must sell, Sheriff. We were left practically penniless. Not exactly. There was a money belt found on your husband. Here's a hundred dollars, cash. A hundred dollars? Say, listen, you fellas. There's a payroll going out on tomorrow's stage. I'm going along as the guard. Now, you boys meet the stage at the pass. I'll do a lot of shooting, but my rifle will be loaded with blanks. Now, there's going to be a nice split in it for all of us. Then we can round up the cattle and make our drive to the border. Now, if I can hold down this job as guard, we'll clean up. Yeah, but what about Madlock? He got killed. By the guy you fellas put to work roping. I threw a brand on him and ordered him out of the county. I had to run in with the sheriff about it, and he fired me. Then this drifter goes and kills Matlock. So I bring him in, and he's in jail now. Well, what about Matlock's family? Well, I reckon I'll be marrying the girl. But first, I gotta get rid of the Mrs. Pronto. She ain't my kind. Oh, I guess that calls for a drink. <laughs> Drop that gun before I plug you. You couldn't plug anybody with blank. Hand over that money bag. Oh, you broke jail, eh? And back on the job. You gave me the name. I might as well have a game. I said hand over that money bag. Your gang at the pass is gonna be kinda disappointed, Holt. They'll think you double-crossed them like you did Matlock. Take that rifle, driver. You'll find it's loaded with blanks. Right around the bend, you're gonna be stuck up again. I'll get gone. Blanks in this rifle. Yeah? I wonder. Hey, that hombre got the dough. We might as well turn around and go back. 
Well, we're going on. I'm kind of curious to see what's ahead. Drop that money bag and be pronto. <laughs> You're too late. A long banner just beat you to it. Don't stall. Throw out that money bag. He's right. The lone banner just got us around the bend. was right. You're in with that gang and you know it. You're crazy. Because that rifle had blanks in it, that don't prove nothing. Yeah? Well, you can do your explaining to the sheriff. Pick them lines and drive back to town. Turning around and coming back. I wonder what it's all about. He won't do no talking now. I'll take the stage on into town and frame up a story. See you later at the shack. Keep your eyes open for that hombre that killed Matlock. It was him that held up the stage and got away with the payroll. Sure. Town. Sure. Three rings. Help yourself. There's your payroll for the blue moon. The line's busy. So it ought to be clear in a minute. Well, pull yourself together, Hold, and tell us just what happened. Well, just as we reached Cobra Flats, that hombre that killed Matlock held us up. He shot Bill and got away with the money bags. What were you doing? Well, I... Sheriff's office. Hello, Sheriff. This is Gary Gray. Gary Gray? You're in Range City with the payroll. I'll be right back, Sheriff. You held up the stage to keep hold from getting it? Why, he just left here. Well, then get him. He's the head of a gang of outlaws and the one who killed Matlock. 
Quick, John. Stop Holt and bring him back here. All right, go ahead. But Holt said Bill, the driver, was killed. If that's true, it was Holt and his gang that did it. Well, you get here as quick as you can, Gary. Right, Sheriff. Thanks for the phone. Well, thanks for the payroll. Say, that hombre sure mucks things up for us. I wonder how he got wise that I had blanks in that rifle. You fellas get ready to pull out of here. I'm going out after the girl. She's riding with us. She got away, Sheriff. Well, that's too bad, John. My boys ought to be here any time now. Gray says he knows where he can find the whole gang. And I think I had that double-crosser ride for me. Knowing every move I made, it was right easy for them to operate. But he'll pay for it now. I'm going to need some help, John. Will you ride for me? Sure. I pulled up the office now. They captured that killer again, and the sheriff wants you to come in for her and identify him. But the sheriff said that he didn't do it. Yeah, and he found out afterwards that he did. You saddle my horse when I was in a minute. All right. shot me and left me for dead. Oh, why well, he just rode away with Vernon. Watch the road. Stop the first rider that comes through. I'll be all right. You'll eat that word, Holt. Draw. There's your proof, partner. The brand of the outlaw. Holt shot Bill Manning. He just rode away to town with Werner, telling her the sheriff wanted to see her. What do you mean? You're going to town. And leave the man that killed your dad? It was you who killed my dad, and you know it. If you feel that way about it, I will go to town. Maybe the sheriff will convince you.
Have you got a gun, Mrs. Matlock? Just in case that hombre comes back again? Yes, I have. I'll get it for you. Well, what's the meaning of this? I just had a battle with Hulk, Sheriff. I was gonna bring him in when Miss Verna here threw a gun on me. She thinks I killed her father. You're wrong, Miss Verna. It was Holt that killed your father. Young lady, if it hadn't been for you, we'd have him behind the bars. Don't blame her, Sheriff. She didn't know. Oh, so where is this hideout? It's about two miles out of town. Up that dry creek. I know, the old Sutter Ranch. So thanks to Gray here, we've located the hideout of the rustlers. And Ben Holt is in with them. Ben Holt shot Bill Manning. Bill's at your ranch, Verna. Your mother just told us. And she's mighty worried about you, too. You'd better get right home, Verna. I'll drop by later. All right, Sheriff. Please don't feel bad about this. But I do. And I'm so sorry. Hey, you fellas, load up with ammunition. We're going out and round up that gang once and for all. Come on, let's get going. Hey, Milt, we've located the rustler. Want to give us a hand? Sure thing, Sheriff. Something, eh? But here's something you don't know. You and I are getting out of this country right now. All right, Ben. But we must stop at the ranch. I've got to tell Mother. Sure. up the gang, Sheriff. I'll take care of that, Humbry. boys. Take care of that man and herd the rest of them into town. I'll see you later. All right, keep them up. Hold them on, boys. Come on, give me that gun. You fellas get in their guns and let's go to town. Tell your mother. We'll be on our way. Open that door. Tell them to come in. And don't make one false move. Gary. 
Jag bara kanske i alla fall. Sheriff, him and his gang just about finished me. But I guess this kind of evening is that's up. I'm going to kill you, Gary. He made me tell you to come in. Yes, I know. Your lips told me to come in, Vera. But your eyes told me differently. You know, I could look into those eyes forever. 